Well, he's pretty lively. You know, he's the one uh, in the group of the characters who is the most positive, who, who always looks on the bright side of things. The other ones have their own little issues. You know, you look, you look at uh, Piglet, who's always confused, a uh, little nervous. Owl is very much into himself. He thinks he's the most important character. Pooh also has to think about things to figure them out. But Tigger is the one who, no matter what the situation is, he's the most positive. He wants to bring everybody up. And, and that's why I reacted to him so much, be, because uh, he has that, uh, yeah, that positive quality to him. I also, I also like the way he's drawn. Just his design is so appealing and, and fun to, to work with. So I, I really wanted to do Tigger on this one. Exact same, same situation, you know, you have a known character that the whole world knows, so your job is as an artist to go back and research the history of the character, look at the best work that's been done, study the artwork, we go into the archives, you know, and study the scenes and the model sheets, and uh, learn the character, and then you have to put that aside and then put, put, put yourself into the character, because in the end you have to put your own acting on it, you know. So, so it's a mixture of both. You have to research the history and then it's your turn to keep going with the character. I have no idea. It just it just worked out that way. You know, these these story reels uh, change with with time. You know, we we cut things out, we put things in, and uh, uh, I guess I guess his part just uh, just sort of expanded based on the type of story that they were telling. But it wasn't it wasn't that way early on in the first version. You know, it just these things just sort of happen. You know, I remember in Jungle Book, uh, the bear Baloo was only in one sequence. And then Walt Disney saw the story, really, and he said, he's so funny, we have to have more of him, you know. I, I, I guess these things just happen organically, you know. I did Nessie, and I think we all did, <laughs> because Nessie is the main character. Um, but with a short film, uh, that goes so quickly, you know. You just have, what, six, seven minutes to do, and you have... Uh, uh, six, seven supervising animators, you know, who've done this, who've, who've done years and decades of animation. So everybody gets like six, seven scenes and it's over. They go by so quickly, those shorts, you know. But it was funny to do that particular style because they said, we really want to do a Mary Blair painting, Mary Blair being this, the color stylist, you know, from the 40s and 50s, come to life. And that's what we basically did, you know. Yes, uh, we are preparing a new one, uh, but it's in, in the very, very early stages, I mean a feature. So the animators are doing some experimenting right now. I myself, I'm taking some time off to work on some personal short films that I'm dealing with right now. And then once the new feature is ready, then we're all going to group together and work on that. Uh, we, we don't really have a feature yet at Disney. Uh, they're, they're, they've been pitching sort of uh, a handful of ideas, and uh, one of them will finally stick, you know, and will be the one. But the directors are uh, John Musker and Ron Clements who are working on that. But it's too, too early to tell which one it's going to be. So it might, it might be a little, little while until it's ready for the animation. That's why they have the animators doing experiments right now. And uh, it's sort of a little... Uh, at that stage right now, you know, where we're just waiting for the new feature to come through. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> we think there hopefully is a, a different audience, you know, for, for those two films. Uh, of course, here in, in Europe it comes out in spring, you know, so it's a different situation. We just, we just have to see, you know. Uh, I mean, it's not like people are going to go to see just one movie in the whole summer, you know, so hopefully we have a shot, you know, and uh, it is a different audience. It's a family audience, you know. I think that all parents who grew up with the characters in the 60s or read the books way back and now have kids, 
I would think that they all would want to take their children to see this movie because uh, this is an encore of those characters, you know, stories that, that haven't been told. So I would hope that they would, would all take their children and have a family experience, you know. Well, our group of animators, you know, Mark Hen, Eric Goldberg, and several of the others, this is whole, a whole new thing for, for us. We haven't done those characters, you know. We had to start from, start from scratch. The only one who had worked on the old ones was Dale Bear. He did some animation on Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2, I think, and maybe even the other ones. So he's the senior animator who, uh, and he did Owl in this movie. So he had, he had a connection to, to the old shorts. But to us, it was all new. So we had, had to start from scratch. And we focused on, when we researched the characters, on the three featurettes. Because that's what the nine old men had done. And that's where, where the whole characters really got started. So that was our research uh, area. And then we we'll just looked at it. We studied the animation. We made big model sheets in the, in the hallways. We printed the key drawings up. And then. Uh, and then each animator took one over, and then you have to make that your own. You know, you can't just copy what they had done, uh, and and that's a challenge. But in the in the case of Tigger, um, they they found new situations with him. He is not just bouncing around. You know, there's other little things with a balloon. He's, he thinks he's attacked by a balloon. You know, he feels threatened by it, which is a, I think a lovely situation. So it was it was fun to animate that to animate things that are not in the in the the early shorts. You know. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Andreas. Thank you, guys. Like I said, why do I think like we just did the last interview two months ago? It's just, <laughs> it just feels that way. Less than two months. It was in February. In February? Yes, for Bambi. For Bambi, but wasn't... Didn't we also do Princess and the Frog? No. Then no Bambi, the first time we, we meet you, it was for Bambi. That, that's why it feels so close. I thought we did Princess and the Frog for some reason, you know, but we, we, we didn't. Okay. Add his stripes. Can't have Tigger without stripes. Yeah, that was the one thing. I mean, all the other characters are pretty simple, as you can see, but I got that to deal with. <laughs> and I have to draw them. I can't leave the stripes for an assistant, you know. It doesn't work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's perfect. You're welcome.